Welcome to a very summer special right here on DXB Today. You don't need me to tell you that the summer is upon us. You've figured that one out if you've popped your head or even your little toe outside the front door today. Uh, summer is here. Uh, the school holidays are just around the corner. People have got their holiday plans in place. Things are going to change over the course of the next couple of months, that's for sure. And therefore, that's left you with one question, or more than one question. What on earth am I going to do during the summer here in Dubai? We at DXB today have the answers tonight. Here's what's coming up on the show. Amy heads down to the Warrior Academy, a one-of-a-kind martial arts organization facilitating character development among children through the Warrior Method. And of course, we have our daily dose of entertainment with some fantastic guests in the studio. And we're giving you all that you need to know when it comes for schools out for the summer. Right, so what are we going to be doing? School is out, everyone is excited. Mayfa, now you have been here most of your life. Uh, what do you normally do in the summertime? Well, to be honest, Netflix and chill. <laughs> and games, a lot of games. But I remember when I was younger, my mom used to take us to summer camp. We used to do ice skating and swimming. Oh. Yeah, that was my first ever experience at summer camp. That was really exciting. And then kar karate after that. Karate. Yeah, and I remember one really intense summer where we actually went to a camp for a whole month where we played basketball, football, and we just interacted with different nationalities and it was such a beautiful experience for me. That nice. sounds fantastic, right? And I like I like the way you're keeping it cool in terms of doing those those uh, those summer sports as it were, like like ice skating and swimming and something like that, because you need that in the heat, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one, isn't it? Um, there's the suggestion out there at the moment because of the population growth, because of the boom in business here in recent times that we're going to have another busy summer as well. Last year, uh, nothing really slowed down. There were things going on. We had events throughout the summer. There is evidence of that this time. There's also evidence of the heat going up as well. So it'd be interesting to see uh, just how busy the streets are, just how much is going on around town. One thing you can guarantee though, is that the authorities here, the organizations here, business here, will make sure that you've got something to do to keep you cool. And a lot of people I can guarantee will be heading to the malls. This is the season I to take advantage so. of a bit of free air conditioning down at the malls <laughs> here in Dubai. And we have an array of many different ones from ice skating to skiing to all of these wonderful things that Dubai malls have. So let's see what is going to be happening. And of course, we have our guest co-host who's going to be giving us a lot of insight into this. She has grown up here as well. You might recognize her from the screens of Dubai TV. So let's see who this guest co-host is. Hi, my name is Ashna Taktani. I'm a TV presenter and I can't wait to see you soon. Well, Ashna will join us right here in a little bit, but first Amy heads down to the Warrior Academy to find out how they're using martial arts to foster confidence and concentration in children. Take a look. My name is Sebastian Bates. I'm the founder and CEO of the Warrior Academy. We are the UAE's only character development center. This is the academy where parents send their children to develop their confidence, conduct, and concentration. I'm here at the Warrior Academy, a unique martial arts organization inspiring the next generation to make a more positive global impact. I think parents nowadays are starting to realize that academics is only one aspect of their child's development. They need to focus on soft skill development and schools aren't necessarily doing that enough. I think that we are now starting to see this reprioritization of soft skill development being so important. Developing emotional intelligence, developing leadership skills, social skills, uh, mindfulness, learning how to regulate our own emotions. And that's exactly what we do here. Mm -hmm. so a lot of parents come to us because they see us talking about the development of soft skills, the development of emotional intelligence, the development of learning how to regulate their own emotions, which for a young person, really is the decider and the, the greatest impact on which direction they go in their life. So when you look at martial arts, it's, it's really this moral compass that you're developing over a long period of time. I think for a lot of parents, they want to enroll their children into something that their kids will stick at. Uh, martial arts, for me, was completely fundamental to helping me through some of the biggest transitions of my life. Adolescence, changing schools, uh, even bullying. And so that's why I wrote a book about bullying. 
uh, just because martial arts had that amazing impact to help me through it. We believe that our children are likely to go through bullying. All we can do is empower them with the tools to transition through that quickly. So a lot of our work is focusing on empowering, empowering young people. We expect our kids to learn how to cross the road safely using the pedestrian crossing, right? The zebra crossing, we call that back home. They learn to look left and right, they learn how to spot danger. We don't approach bullying in the same way. Over the last 15 years, I've worked with over 50,000 families around the world. And what I've realized is that we can make such a fundamental transformation to a child's life by developing their character. And in the UK, 10% of our students are on scholarships. So we work with uh, welfare officers, uh, we work with um, children's hospices, where we sponsor the siblings of children who are terminally ill. And going through that, I really saw the impact we were making to children who could never access our program. And as we grew in the UAE, I wanted to take that concept and that giving culture and expand it globally. So two years ago, I started the Bates Foundation. And now with the Bates Foundation, um, within just two years, we're now the largest uh, martial arts academy for underprivileged children on the planet. Uh, we teach 4,000 orphans and homeless children every single week. Well, I've had an incredible time here at the Warrior Academy, and I've seen firsthand how they are shaping the next generation through the Warrior Method. Now, I'm going to go and join a class. <laughs> I know for a fact that Amy was looking forward to getting togged up down at the Warrior Academy and she was a little bit disappointed that she wasn't allowed to fight any of the kids down there, which <laughs> I thought was a little bit strange. But I suppose that's our Amy, isn't it? Eh? It is our Amy. You know, you know, there's a bit of a size difference there going on, girl. <laughs> Who knows, eh? Uh, right, our guest co-host today is one of the youngest TV presenters in the UA, captivating the audiences. Uh, through her range and passion, having established herself as a versatile speaker at the age, the tender age of just 15 through her content. Uh, she is no stranger to viewers uh, of Dubai One TV and of course a key part of our expo coverage a couple of years ago. Welcome back to DXB today, uh, Ashna Taktani. Ashna, great to see you. It is amazing to see you guys. I'm so happy. I feel like the gang's back. I'm getting so nostalgic. <laughs> the band back together, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just bring on a few instruments and who knows what's going to happen here. Yeah. It's great to have you with us here today. Um, summer, you looking forward to it? Oh my god. So I'm in IB, ninth grade, and this is the first year I've actually been, you know, with exams and it is... Let's just say I have never been more excited for summer to come than I am this year. So yeah, really, really looking forward to, you know, the time um, apart from studies that I have. But that's good because times were when people got a bit stressed out about the summer because times were when the big question was what am I going to do what am I going to do with the kids what are we going to do etc and you know lest we forget we are going through tough times economically for a lot of people etc a lot of people might have limited option to travel this year from your understanding your finger on the pulse of this city is there things to do this year this summer oh my god when is there I mean Dubai is Dubai is a hub you know of so many activities and especially for young kids I mean, I am so, so grateful that I'm, you know, born, brought up in this country because there's so much to do. I mean, we've got the educational aspect of things. I actually visited the Museum of the Future for the first time um, last year as a school trip. I'm not a science girl, but that trip, one of the best museums I've ever been to. And guess what? They've got a summer camp. I know, Green Planet, again, one of the best places I've ever been to. It's like a lush rainforest indoors. They've got a summer camp. You know, so it's all these cool places. Now this one is a bit nostalgic for everybody. Expo City, it was the greatest show a couple of years ago. It's the greatest summer camp now for kids. Then we've got things in terms of the sports point of view. I was telling you before, I'm not the most athletic person there, but I do enjoy a good bit of sports. I got into karting recently, you know, Formula One. I'm a Formula One content creator. And I also do kart a little bit, but again, I'm not amazing. Dubai Autodrome, they have a summer camp and they also do laser tag, you know? And I know that different schools have different sports camps, which is great for parents because it's a little bit more of a familiar location and you know, your kid's in good hands. And the best thing is as parents, <laughs> you've kind of, you know, you're chill, you have time for yourself and time to do work. And it's a great, it's a win-win situation. I like that, so push them onto a camp. That sounds fantastic. I like the Museum of the Future doing a camp. That sounds a bit different and out of the box, actually. Um, I spoke to my son the other day. The first thing he said to me, I want to go to the Museum of the Future. 
I was like, oh, okay, how do you even know about it? It's YouTube. And I was like, oh, all right, interesting. <laughs> so it's good to know that they're doing that. Um, but you, Ashna, I mean, you've been here, you've seen the evolution of different summers and uh, things, a multiple of to, things to do here. Um, but now you're at that age where you've got your exams, you've got so many things on your mind. How do you switch off? Um, that's a good thing. The thing is, I don't really want to be thinking about exams in the first place, so I feel like that's pretty easy. Like, it's kind of a, I want to switch off now, you know, I, I never want to be um, on, on that subject. But me and my friends, we're creating a summer bucket list. I don't know if you guys have been seeing the trend going around on TikTok um, and Instagram. So it's like an actual piece of paper and you create that list. And so obviously we don't really have time for summer camps, but what we can do is like different activities. We love a good escape room. We're not the brightest in that sense. We spend most of our time screaming, but escape rooms are nice. Ice skating, you said you do a lot of ice skating. Again, I'm not good at ice skating. Still? This thing. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that makes it fun is all the fails and the falls, and I'm probably the worst in my group, so I'm usually on the ice the most of the time, but that's fun, you know. They've got roller skating and wave house. I mean, what better way to beat the heat than with water activities? Guys, I love water parks and wave houses like you've got arcades. So if you don't want to be outside, that's okay. You've got, you know, a wave simulator and snacks. That's the best part about any activity. So it's kind of a, you know, I think that's how I would go about this summer. And you were telling us about this bucket list. So can you tell us a bit more of what you're looking forward to personally to conquer this summer? Sure, I mean, summer, I feel, is, I'm the kind of person who never really stops doing things. Like last summer, I launched my website just because I was bored. Um, and so this summer, I feel like... Exactly. <laughs> you could do uh, mine if you want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no problem, bring it up. I will charge though, I'm, ju I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think enhancing a skill. I take drama as my subject this year, and I feel like, you know, that would be a good skill to really look at. Um, cooking is another one that I want to do. Maybe even, not even just summer camps, maybe just at home. Obviously, RIP to our kitchen, but it's a good thing to try, you know, cakes, muffins, smoothies, all that stuff. So I think enhancing a skill. Hang on, 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 hang on. Time out, everyone. You know, we have sat here for the last, what, five minutes talking about camps, and it seems to be a big focus uh, for those of a younger generation as well, kids, camps, uh, teens camps, uh, adolescents, young adults camps. What about the grown-ups though? What can we do? Um, <laughs> that's oh, a come good, on, that's just, throw that's a dog a bone, good please, good you know. question. Uh, uh, can I answer my own question? Go on. Because I always think that this is the best time of year. We know how busy things get in Dubai throughout the rest of yes. the year. I think this is a really good time of year to take advantage of staycation deals, oh. to take advantage of short trips, weekends away as well. You get some really good deals with the with the, with the the airplanes and spas as well. Uh, even if you're into or not into spas, you get really, really good deals during the summer months. Mm. So I think it's a, it's a good opportunity to pamper yourself. It is, 100%. Now, I mean, there is the case, and no offense to you, maybe you and you guys are a little bit more cooler, <laughs> cooler in that sense. We'll go with that. Um, so, you know, the majority, and I don't mean to offend any adult, y'all are not the most fun people out there, right? So that's why I feel like you have limited options, but sure, spa is a great thing oh. that everyone can right, do. Let's from. chat, well, you said go-karting. Oh, So yes. I think, I think uh, the, the children versus the adults go-karting, I think I, be a good thing. Amaz I get so competitive with my dad. So, yeah? Tell me the date. All right. I will meet you there, hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. One other one that I would recommend as well, and if you haven't done it, I, I know I have. I, I haven't done it because the kids are too too old and grown up. But I know the friends with young kids have done it, and they're bringing it back this summer, um, camping over at Green Planet overnight. Oh. You can sleep in Green Planet. I mean, you have to book it. Obviously, you can't just stay there and and, and sleep with the sloths. But uh, <laughs> the people that have done it said it's amazing. <laughs> in terms of the noises and all the bits and pieces and you get to sleep with the creepy crawlies and snakes and everything. Well, you've really sold it there, Tom. Right? You <laughs> really, you know, I can't wait. <laughs> I know my mom's down there taking yeah. notes because who doesn't love bugs crawling over? Wake up, no, but... a scorpion, brilliant. Some people like it, some people like it. Okay, well, he's exaggerating. Obviously, it's a nice experience. Guys, we know how things are here in Dubai. Everything's very, very, you know, five star. So I'm sure it'll be great. Well, stick around, Ashna. We've got a lot more to talk about. Thank you so much for being here. But coming up, we are chatting about boarding schools later on, um, how they're shaping the education system. So do not go anywhere.